I'm Sabrina Holot, and as part of the eTech 565 Video Primary Group, I created this video to help you explore why a teacher would want to use video as part of their curriculum. Watch for the four points used to answer this question. First and foremost, videos are engaging and interesting. An educator might want to introduce a topic and arouse interest through video. Video has the ability to reach a viewer's emotions, so it can have a strong positive effect on both motivation and affective learning. As we know, memory is strongly influenced by emotion, so educational videos have a powerful ability to relay experience, influence cognitive learning, and aid in retention. A multimedia approach holds the attention of impatient learners with short attention spans. Second, videos can aid learners in supporting learning and differentiating instruction. Videos are used to provide examples, reinforce and spark ideas, or share experiences. A video's multi-modes can approach things aesthetically, logically or narratively, and linguistically, thus addressing the needs of a broader range of learners. It's a form of multimedia that conveys information through two simultaneous sensory channels, oral and visual. For example, students learning English as a second language, video and film demonstrate communicative language within a language environment and cultural context. Thirdly, video gives students control and provides the opportunity for learning to transcend the classroom. Learners can choose when and where to watch the videos according to their needs and schedule. They can replay and scan as they need and feel comfortable going over points as needed if they are struggling with anything. To move ahead and learn independently, giving videos a role in teaching can help make the instructor more effective by eliminating the need to repeat lectures for absent learners. And finally, Videos are an excellent resource for the flipped or blended classroom learning models. The teachers would write saying, we've used your videos to flip the classroom. You've given the lectures. So now what we do, and this could actually happen in every classroom in America tomorrow, what I do is I assign the lectures for homework, and what used to be homework, I now have the students doing in the classroom. And I wanna, I wanna pause here for... <laughs> I, I want to pause here for a second because there's a couple of interesting things. One, when those, when those teachers are doing that, th there's, there's the obvious benefit. There's the, uh, the benefit that now their, their students can enjoy the videos in the way that my cousins did. They can pause, repeat at their own pace, uh, at their own time. But the more interesting thing, and this is the unintuitive thing when you talk about technology in the classroom. By removing the one-size-fits-all lecture from the classroom and letting, and letting students have a self-paced lecture at home, and then when you go to the classroom, letting them do work, having the, the teacher walk around, having the peers actually be able to interact with each other. The greatest benefit of flipping the classroom, the teacher has more openings to execute higher order activities in class and more time for supporting students. This video explored four major reasons that answer why a teacher would want to use video as a part of the curriculum. By keeping these reasons in mind, an educator will have the best chance at creating or using effective multimedia messages.